Hi folks, welcome to another Stall13.com video. We're going to talk about these large cockleburrs that you see on horses a lot of times. i got to get some more hay. Bear with me here. We don't edit videos on Stall13. This horse happens to have these huge, nasty cockleburrs. I hate these. We're going to zoom in on the camera and we're uh, going to show you on this horse's forelock here we have these huge, oh man, they hurt. Ouch, 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 ouch. They're just killing me. We have these huge cockle burrs. Now I'm going to walk forward till the camera person tells me that they've got a good close up of this. Okay, we have these cockle burrs. I mean, it's like pins and needles. And this is about the size of a, of a quarter. I hate these things. I mean, horses get these in their tails and their manes, and they're just, ah, I can't stand them. Well, what, I, what we're going to be talking about in this particular video is that this horse has a few in its forelock. And this horse happens to be blessed with a really nice forelock. The problem is, is that those are swinging right around the capsule of her eyes. Not only can they do damage to her eyes, but you can actually cause a horse to have allergies by having these little cockleburrs. Ow! Jeez! Cockleburrs in its mane. You can try to brush them out, but remember, you're dealing with a horse's face. I recommend that you have somebody use a halter and a lead rope and hold the horse while you do this because you might be actually doing a little bit of tearing and ripping at the hair. You have to kind of peel them out of the horse. Now I've got two, three left. They never, they just multiply like rabbits. And you want to get these out of the forelock because it can cause a horse to have allergies. Like I'm allergic to things because I've had cockle burst swing in front of my eyes. I, Eye, in, eye injuries on horses are extremely common and so you want to check your horses at short time and you do want to take these out. This is a great distractor right now. This horse is hungry and it's eating some of the hay here at the home place on the ranch and this horse is used to me so she's allowing me to do this. You might say, well my horse would never allow you to do that. Well, then that means that you need to get some help and you want to make sure that you get them all out. I thought I had them all out. I've got one left. It's a really tiny little one and it's all knotted and matted. And sometimes I have to do this twice a day. And I hate doing this. The thing that you want to do is, see, look, no more. Now this forelock can brush. Come here. Oh, stop. Well, she got tired of me. I'm going to back off and let her come back to her hay for a second. Okay, now I'll come back in here. One reason why I want a halter and a lead rope. Oh, hey, it's okay. Come here. Whoa, whoa. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Notice his forelock is free and clear. Can swing around the eyes. Everything's now okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Am I bothering you while you're eating? Go ahead, go back and eat. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you just saw why you want two people. My <laughs> whole turtle lead rope is good. Why you may not want to do this at mealtime. But see, here's something else I want to tell you real quick about this. Even though this is under uh, grooming a horse, is, it's a psychological tip here. Notice how the horse kind of reared away and turned away from me. I didn't yell. I didn't hit the horse, I stayed calm, so the horse stayed calm. I approached, I approached the horse very slowly, so the horse did what? Now we're back to where we were. I can actually go right down here, around her ear. There's another little cockleburr here on her mane. It's these subtle things that all work together, ladies and gentlemen, when you're dealing with a horse. And the subtlety is, don't be in a hurry, don't be real aggressive, take your time. There's our time and then there's horse time. This has been another stall13.com video. I gotta leave this horse alone so she can enjoy her meal. Take care of yourself and your horses.